them ladies and gentlemen. Gonna do some. You know how much this car costs? Yeah. Fuck! Ah, oh, shit! Sorry! This town is just amazing. My girlfriend said all the stars hang out in this dungeon crawler. I am totally gonna bang a star. Just having the best time. Thanks. Hey, where are we hanging out? Oh, yeah. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. 
him and my son. They want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Excuse me. Go to East Los uh, Santos. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. Trouble, sir. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get them out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Something inside. 
Yanni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Reach the heli pad without learning Rocco. Oh man, this might be impossible. Do I have any? Trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> you off this roof. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! This is not how you negotiate! Hey! Hey! Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong drugs? I don't want a new deal, so much has to be off the show entirely! Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well! Can we just talk this through? Mm -hmm. Nah. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until bully I get a new talent? deal. Bully Talent? Can't bully Talent? Mm -hmm. Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. I'm gonna need a gallon of herbal tea to calm me down. You're more sensitive than you 
percent on. I can tell. I swear I'll give you two percent of the bump. One more rock, please. Enough. Uh, enough. All right, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you and just stop. Okay. See, that wasn't so hard. Now let's get you back. No. Home. Jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> uh. Don't do it, you know? There What is. a wonderful surprise! Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Are you too kind? No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Mr. Richards. Keep what? cool, old baby. It's just Ugh. a car. Damn it. Go back. Hmm. 
Ah. The hell? There's Franklin. Oh, and Trevor. Mm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. <clears throat> Go to the yeah. Okay. This is hella far. Oh my gosh. Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Yeah, my new jig is kind of fucked. Which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Come on, how are you still beating me?
Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. <laughs> you know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely uh, necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! God! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. The lady from before, Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. Oh, without damaging. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge now.
Hey, Frank. Yeah. What I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. Oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. <laughs> hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house, I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy in you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for... I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Hey, you... Course, you're all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good... I'm finna do it right, so, uh, how your car, Mike? Ha <laughs> my car is fine. Yeah, I hope so, cause I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seats were here when I got in. Oh, come on, team man, please. Yeah, kinda messed up a lot. Bro. Shit, I screwed up. Yikes. Gentlemen, I love Yikes. you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But. The order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk! Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the cars, so that makes it complicated. 
He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. I fought the law. Man, when am I gonna get a paycheck for one of these licks? Got a less yeah, I'll do Lester first. Yep. Um, I didn't even do Jack. You ain't going nowhere. Stupid ass fuck. of Jackson Skinner. He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder. Hmm. Watch the prostitutes. Uh, YouTube, YouTube, please. I'm Hispanic, but I don't know if that was Spanish to me. There's some just random gibberish. Why? Uh, 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 uh. Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. Whoa. I'm waiting for someone. What up, girl? You won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. I'm telling you, girl, this is some real government covert issue shit. It'll take you right to the moon. I blew 
blow my cover? Oh. Well, okay. I didn't even think I blew my cover. I just wanna I just wanna use that car because I thought it was faster. <laughs> hey, baby, you miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, I always come. Aw, you such a smooth talker. feel bad about it. Hey man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, my whip! Yeah, get away from here. Alright. Uh, move it back to the It just hasn't changed. Tell him devil, eat a big dick. No shit! Oh! Hey. Oh, you know what? Wait. Oh, man! Can I just call the taxi? Hey, girl, what up? Hey, who is it? Um, how did you get this home? Yeah? Well, I don't know you, Mama. I need a cab as soon as possible. I'm sending one out right now. I'll be here. Is that my cab? I forgot, I don't need to drive if I got a taxi to do it for me.
I can skip. Well, she. Here we are. Damn, I should just use the taxi for now on.
Yeah. That's here. All right. Boy, down to draw him out. Hold on. Wait. You should come out from behind that building. Wait a minute. Man in his car to my right. Who looks like he's on phone? 
fuck? Dude could be calling the fans, homie. Nah, what else you got? We got a guy standing over by a row of cars, middle of the floor. Let's see what the fuck he's doing. Hey, that ain't... Damn. For the reason this place is stink. Stank-ass motherfucker. Oh, wait, him. Near side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be... Whoa. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, the lady! You gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got one. Oh, dawg, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Ah, I can't, I cannot keep this in good condition. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I just stick to <laughs> driving, all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like ten? No, not like ten, man. Exactly ten. <laughs> oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? I'll tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go. <clears throat> so it's nice. Fun, probably doing it.
No, not us, sir. I did you a solid, kid. Aren't oh, some one? One of you. I got. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? I've, I've been a mixed bag, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. Okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're awful. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? Things have really been up and down, Doc. Uh, no! What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. shit! Oh, I can't do another phone session. Hello, Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts. This. It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin, a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, but some people. <laughs> 
They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who were close to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Uh, by you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. <whistles> a man, what's up, pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. Wow. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything, get me on the headset. a big ass shortcut. Ooh, that was close. Mike! Mike, you there! I got some poor bastard's dirt bike! Yeah, okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little... Uh. <laughs> All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? Ah. Oh no, bro. He looks. Oh, I just not realized he looks like old man Logan. Kind of giving me that vibe. All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. There it is. I'll pass downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Oh. Nope. 
That's the right. Ah, gotta take another shot. Give me a second. First strike. Plane's coming down. You want it? Ah, come on. Flight November 9 of Charlie Echo. Say your souls on board. Two souls on board. Engine 2, totally lost. Trevor lost the plane. What? How? Get up, We're not Trevor. Make the runway. We're gonna have to ditch the son of a bitch and hope for the best.
this, Ronald? Okay, this guy is going down any minute. Good. Let's hope he'll take out some poor farmer while he's at it. Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, Trevor Phillips country. God, I miss it out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. Losing altitude rapidly. I'm gonna have to bring it down in dirt. God help us. Roger, November 9 to Charlie Echo. What is your status? God help us. Seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do it's a Okay. And we're gone. Go to Martin's house. I'd like to order a cab, please. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ugh. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. So where do you want to go? Grand Sonora Desert. Sure thing, thing, man. Do it with no with extra cost. I don't care. Hey, we're here. Where is he? happened why did he have his car man a piece of turd huh no wonder people are stabbing him in the back what happened cheap 
bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trout! don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. And he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know? It's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, now what's up with Franklin? Come on, man, what's up? Come here, boy. Come here. That's Trio, homie. Take one. Alright, what do we gotta do? We got Wester, we got Dev again. Alright, I'll just end it off here. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching uh for watching GTA part. I hope you guys enjoy it. He's up. Oh, can't oh, get them all, bad. boy. Okay, well, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, ball, night, day, boy. evening, whatever the occasion is. My name is Sam Houston, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.